It starts in the 50s, and this kid, Alan Parrish, finds a super cool old board game. And then there's this girl, Sarah, that Alan has a crush on. She shows up at the house, and the two start playing the game. When she rolls the dice, pieces start to move on their own. This is where it gets kind of crazy. Messages appear in the game and start happening in real life. Sarah gets attacked by bats, and Alan is literally sucked into the game! We cut to 20 years later, and a new family is moving into this house with two kids, Judy and Peter. They discover the board game in the attic. You want to tell those kids don't roll those dice? But kids will be kids, of course, so they do it anyway. The jungle starts coming to life inside their house. They're attacked by giant mosquitoes and a bunch of monkeys. That's just the beginning. The game releases a lion and Alan, who lives his whole life in the game and is like this wild man with a crazy beard, appears just in time to save the kids. So they have to beat the game to get things back to normal. But it's Sarah's turn and they can't continue without her. They track down Sarah. She's all grown up and thought she imagined playing the game as a kid. But when she sees Alan, she knows it was real and returns with them to beat the game. So the game is shooting all kinds of crazy stuff at them. There's monsoon with crocodiles, a stampede of rhinos, and a crazy hunter that's trying to kill Alan. When you think your house is a mess, you gotta see what they're living in. Then, they're almost eaten by a crocodile, but they work together out with the hunter and finally beat Jumanji. All of the jungle stuff is sucked back into the game and Alan and Sarah return to the 50s. So Alan and Sarah tie up the game and drop it in the river so no one else will have to go through what they went through. The last thing that we see is Alan and Sarah, they're all grown up and married and they reunite with Judy and Peter and everyone Everyone lives happily ever after. But that's not really the end, because we see the game has washed up on a beach. And that's where our new story begins. I like can't even with this place.